All right, everybody. I know I'm making video after trying to do my homework, but this is just too, too delicious. It's so fun. So all right. So I get this guy. He comes on, and he he's a nice guy. I don't even know who the heck he is, right? But he wants to argue with me about James. But he comes and he comes to my personal messages, right? And starts telling me all oh, how he can reconcile James and how he can make all the scriptures fit. And I'm like, yeah, well, I could make a square peg fit in a round hole too. So I asked him a couple questions. I just did a video on it, right? I asked him a couple questions. So well, then, you know, basically then, if um, if if you think that uh, that you know the book of James should be in the scriptures, I brought up that the whole idea that in Antioch. Okay, uh, Paul was persecuted in Antioch in 2 Timothy chapter 10. And this was before, right? I, I brought up that, that, that in Antioch, Paul rebuked Peter to his face because of men from James. And I asked him to answer why all of a sudden it, is, is it men from James? You know, that's significant when, you know, when, when, when you're grouped with men who came from James, who were Judaizers, who were causing the circumcision. So I brought this up to him, and I asked him to answer me. I, I pointed out Acts chapter 15, 5, where these Pharisees came in Antioch, right? And this was just before God, uh, uh, Paul had written to Timothy about watching his doctrine, and he had just got done explaining in, in uh, 2 Timothy uh, 2.10, I believe, that... Uh, he had persecutions and he had problems with, with, with people with false doctrines and all the problems he had in Antioch. So what happened in Antioch? Well, men from James caused Peter to withdraw from the Gentile table to go to the kosher table, and he was in error. So I brought all of this up, and then it says all scripture is God-breathed in light of James. But this was before the Bible canon was put together. I brought all this out, and I asked him, because, you know, he wanted me to, you know, he showed, he was going to show me, and I asked him for an answer to these things. So I figured that he would go, you know, look into the scriptures and give me his best answer. Here's what his answer was. Who are you? Who are you? To talk about such a great man as James. Who do you think you are? Your arrogance is... And I'm like, who the heck is he? Right? His true colors came out. His ogre came out. And he goes, I curse you in the name of the Lord. I curse you. And I'm like, gee, you know, I was just asking you a question. And it seemed like you got a little hot-headed there. I just thought that that's so typical. If I give you a question, and you don't... If you can't give me an answer, and you get mad at me and shut me off... Well, then that proves the point right there now, doesn't it? Dear God, have mercy.